screen everything because they're assaulting them. And then the kids out there, doesn't matter if my kids don't see all this, other kids do. And, and, and you would think that there isn't a universe out there, there aren't any discoveries. It's all just what, what Michelle Obama wore today and what Hillary's doing and how great she is and uh, how fantastic everything is and, and, you know, in the government and how wonderful Obamacare is and how wonderful tap water is and how wonderful vaccines are and how horrible gun owners are. And I mean, it is just pure, unadulterated sludge. And you can tell how propagandized and how sick our society has gotten when you watch television. And the guys were able to pull it up. He was on, Obama, I guess, was on Sports Center yesterday, and they're putting it on every other channel. I mean, I can't watch. Sometimes I'm on a business trip, you know, covering a story. I'll get in at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock from working. I'll put on cable, try to watch the late night you know, show or try to watch something else. It's all about Obama making him a rock star, trying to prop up the facade. And now Obama, they're saying, wants to host ESPN. Is that the headline I just saw? Obama, I want to host ESPN Sports Center when I retire. I mean, this is just disgusting. It's all about how he's a regular guy, and he's on all these comedy shows, and funny or die, and it just goes on and on. So I've directed years ago my crew, who are great people, my reporters, my investigative journalists, writers, everybody. We need to focus more on the entertainment. Myself included, because we focus on news all day, but the way we're going to get to the general public is by hijacking their uh, propaganda stories with Obama and the globalists and the rest of it and making fun of it via satire with review shows. <clears throat> and again, <laughs> in amongst everything else I'm doing, if I had the time and energy, that, that's really my plan is have like a five-minute segment every night where I give commentary on the nightly news on entertainment and propaganda and review it and decipher it for people. And the problem is, isn't finding the propaganda. It's like you throw your nets into the ocean and the whole ship starts sinking because there's so many fish in the net. I, I mean, it is just an orgy. Uh, an explosion, a, a, a flash fire, a flash flood of BS. And it makes my head spin. Meanwhile, flesh-eating bacteria is spreading all over the place. Super diseases are forming. GMO is getting into the DNA of humans, wrecking our genetics on record. Cancer's off the chart. I mean, you know, we are in a mega crisis. Humanity is in a mega crisis, whether it's real in the economy uh, or not. Regardless, uh, whether it is unsustainable or they're making it unsustainable via Agenda 21, we are going on a civilization level, industrial level, collapse trajectory, guaranteed. British Ministry of Defense, Pentagon reports, NASA reports, uh, Harry Dent, just uh, Ron Paul, myself, countless others, uh, Gerald Salente, just everyone knows who actually is studying things, that we're on a collision course for incremental collapse. And it is engineered. Dent agreed with me yesterday. Because it's easier to not manage things well. It's easier not to build a renaissance because then you've got uppity, informed, powerful people that you've got to deal with and then you can't keep control of everyone. So they've decided to only have high-tech reservations and government reservations and corporate reservations that are ultra-high-tech, ultra-luxury, ultra-security, Literally in dome cities. In fact, that's what the elite say they're going to. Dome cities offshore. This is mainstream news. Dome cities in the country where they have filtered domed cities. Domed reservations. And the rest of us are going to be outside of this with our resources pumped into these people as the robots then phase us out and replace us. We are being engineered. We are being acclimated. We are being actuaried we are being phased in a long-term full-spectrum warfare system to put our energy our creativity into the building of the robot takeover technocracy that is only another phase into then having the robots be able to produce everything so we become fully domesticated and at the whim of the robots for social engineering to then phase us out with controlled plagues bio attacks chemical engineering bioengineering I mean, you think 10,000 plus percent increase in pediatric cancer is bad now. Try 100,000 in 20 years. So just 
and, and, and if you start saying the government did it, the government did it, the robot SWAT team's going to arrive and kill your butt. Everybody else says, hey, be quiet. They've got the they've got the treatments to help us. You know, when half your kids have already died of cancer. And it's a total control system, and I've seen their whole plan and, 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 and how they're rolling it out. And they're quite public about it as well. So while you're busy worried about the Malaysian flight and, and, and Michelle Obama's biceps, the snapping turtle's biceps, uh, we are going into a high-tech hell pit. The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. Right now at Emergency Essentials, get free shipping on every order over $150. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere, like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Every day, scores of news articles come across my desk like this one. 
Bridgeport man faces felony after speaking too long at township board meeting. Yeah, uh, that's um, in Bridgeport Township. And uh, that's the same thing goes on here in Austin, Texas. Uh, the mayor threatens to arrest people uh, and, 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 and says it like he's the king of the earth uh, if they're not, quote, polite to him. And says it in a real chilling voice. He might as well just wear a Darth Vader helmet like the guy from Spaceballs and imagine he's powerful. Because they're perched on top of us, folks. They know they have a 6% approval rating. And they hope the police, whose pension funds they've already robbed, uh, are going to go along with them while they gut everything. Because freedom threatens them. But I see stacks of these articles every day. I mean, literally. A Bridgeport man faces a felony charge after he was arrested by police at a township board meeting when he refused to stop talking past the three-minute time limit for public comment. He was arrested during the meeting by police officers after violating the township's three-minute time limit for people making public comments and refusing to stop talking when township officials told him to. It was uh, the man's 59th birthday, according to public records. And uh, they're now charging him with felonies for it. And there's video uh, now that's been released of the meeting. Uh, and uh, they just go on to say that... Um, He'd file Public Information Act request, and they're charging him with a felony. So better not go talk or you'll be disappeared. And there's video of that. Now, continuing, here's another one. CBS News, Connecticut. Gun tattoo mistakenly brings heavily armed police to Maine man's home. They were looking through the window while they trimmed his trees, and he was asleep. He works at night and saw a tattoo of a gun, which, by the way, last time I checked in Maryland was still legal. If you jump through the hoops, and the police came, a SWAT team. And by the way, folks, I've told you about the carpet cleaner 15 years ago. Two carpet cleaners, the cleaner and his assistant, went in my radio studio at my house at the time. And there was a shotgun on the wall. Didn't have children then. Pump shotgun, Winchester Defender, $300 shotgun. And they freaked out, and the guy said, I can't do this, and left and called the police on me. Because that gun was illegal. Of course, it wasn't illegal, but they don't care. That's how America works. You, people all over Texas I know who have big ranches, small ranches, you name it. I don't care if you live in the middle of nowhere. The police are coming when you shoot because the Californians have now colonized us, and they rule with an iron fist of power. They see you yell at your kid when they're out in the street or spank them. That's not against the law. CPS is coming. And if they can, they're going to sell your kid down the river and put them on a bunch of drugs. Because they rule. This is their country now. And they love the government abusing them. They love crippling in health care prices. They love death panels because LeBron James said so. And just like the man we're showing on screen clearly doesn't resist them. The police, like in a third world dictatorship, grab him, drag him out, and charge him with a felony. And let me tell you, they'll get a jury in that town to put him in jail for 10 years. And then their neighbors will put them in jail, too, because they like it. They want this country to go down. They want due process out the window, and they're going to get it. Gun tattoo mistakenly brings heavily armed police to main man's home. That's like the person that was eating the pastry and it looked like the shape of a gun to the other kids. And the police came. They responded to the pink pastry. Here's another article. Student arrested expelled for pocket knife found in car during a routine search at the Marshall Law Facility. Yeah, I remember cases of valedictorians and people that had their degrees stripped because on the last day of school they brought a package of Dixie Knives, forks, and spoons. The one girl got caught bringing a, a pie to her teacher, was having an after-school party with her teachers, and the school police officer walked in and saw the Dixie butter knife that has a serrated edge. And needless to say, uh, she went to appeals court over it and got it reversed and was able to keep her degree. I remember that. This is total mind control, folks. This is America. The banks are stealing trillions. We're wide open. The government ships in the narcotics publicly. But if the valedictorian brings a pie and some coffee for her teachers, you're going to lose your degree, honey. <laughs> uh, and if you got a shotgun on your wall in Texas, the police are coming.
They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Principal loses job for instructing students to speak English.